In a personalized, competency-based setting, students advance in their learning by demonstrating they have mastered important concepts and skills, also known as competencies. Learning is customized to student needs, including the time it takes to master the subject matter, the teacher's instructional practices, and the structure of the learning environment. The Pattonville School District is continuing to move to a personalized, competency-based learning model across grade levels as a way to ensure all students are ready for high school course content and, ultimately, success after they graduate. Here's a glimpse of what that looks like in Pattonville. At Drummond Elementary, students are placed for math based on their level of understanding related to essential standards and critical content in math. Using district formative and summative assessments, individual learning plans are created for each student in order for them to be successful. This has really helped teachers become insanely clear about what students need to know across a K-5 continuum in order for them to be successful. Learning targets are selected that can meet the needs of students where they are while also exposing them to grade level content. This has created a culture of student agency with ongoing goal setting and self-reflection. When you walk through classrooms, you will often see students working in small groups. Some are teacher-directed, some are student-directed, and some are personalized learning. So this year at Heights, we decided to take math off team. And we did that for two reasons. Number one, we had an increase in student population, but the second reason was so that we could differentiate a little bit more on the types of math classes that we were able to offer. For example, in eighth grade, we actually have five different levels that students could be taking for a math class. We go all the way from geometry, algebra, advanced pre-algebra, regular pre-algebra to a collaborative. We have students coming in with varying degrees of math knowledge, and what we learned over the last few years is that that gap is getting wider and wider. We have students who are exceptional in math who need to be able to take those high school level classes. And then we have students who really struggle and need lots of extra support, as well as um, time to really digest the information. This has been really successful in allowing students to have an openness in their schedule so that they can take those higher level classes, maybe for math, but not for another class. It's also allowed for us to differentiate a little bit more on how we are going to reach students' levels when we have kids coming in with varying degrees even though they are labeled an eighth grade student, they might have high school level abilities or they might be coming in with third, fourth, fifth grade level abilities. Students have the opportunity in eighth grade to take high school level courses and also to take lower level courses, which is still pre-algebra, but with extra support and extra time. So in terms of uh, competency-based learning in mathematics at the high school level, um, I worked with the district level CSIP committee on student learning. And what we did in that year's, work of, year's worth of work is that we looked at um, what's the difference between a standard versus a competency, and then we broke up into two different groups, one for English language arts and one for mathematics. And in our group, basically what we looked at are what are the main things that students must be able to know and do in order to be successful in using their mathematical skills beyond high school. So we looked at a variety of things. We looked at common core standards, but most importantly we looked at the eight standards of mathematical practice. So most of our competencies in mathematics are coming from those eight standards of mathematical practice that focus on the wider, most important aspects of math learning for any student, anywhere, in any district in the United States. So how does that look like it here at the high school? Well, this year we are in the beginning stages of our journey of really examining what competency-based learning looks like in our classrooms. As with the rest of the district, we use Evaluate Data. The Evaluate Data is an assessment that's given once a month to all of our freshman students or students who are taking Algebra One and it tracks really important concepts that are going to be tested on the end of course exam. As an Algebra 1 data team, we look at that data, review it, and we adjust our learning goals based on the data that we receive back from those assessments. In addition, in our two-year algebra program, we use um, Math 180, and we're also piloting um, some other online math 
programs that would enable us to have some more flexibility with how students are progressing and learning with mathematics. So this is a very exciting time for our math department here at the high school. We are at the precipice of learning and seeing how personalized learning and how competency-based standards can really push our students to achieving the things that we know that they can do.